Kim here, Director of Communications for the Arizona Senate Republicans, and joining me today is Senator Vince Leach from District 11. Big news this week out of the state capitol involving election integrity. We have House Bill 2492 just signed by the governor. Tell us a little bit about this. Literally just signed. Uh, it just, we just got the press release that he had signed it. Uh, this deals with uh, federal-only ballots that have been an issue here in Arizona for some time. Uh, we seemingly had taken care of the problem under a former Secretary of State. Uh, but the, the fact is, is through the last election, uh, we discovered that we have 36,000 federal-only ballots out there. The problem with the federal-only ballots as it stands right now, before this was, bill was signed, is that there was the, the, the forms of, of identification were not questionable, but they really weren't solid at best. Uh, this bill, just signed by the governor, is huge because it says you have to have an ID, uh, driver's license or, or personal ID that you can get from the state. Huge. It's a, it, it, that's 36,000 ballots uh, that people have. And it's not only at the state level, uh, but we are requiring the, the county recorders uh, to get this information and to not be issuing these, uh, these ballots to the folks that don't provide uh, the the correct identification. Huge bill. And essentially, you're proving that you are a citizen of the United States when you are casting your ballot, which is big for those that were doubting the whole process. It's a it's a really simple uh, uh, philosophy. You have to be an American to vote in the, in the United States of America. Uh, I was I was somewhat appalled by the opposition uh, in in. I didn't see it in the House, but I saw it in the Senate because we heard this in Senate Judiciary uh, a week or so ago, and that the people that just push back against this, and we kept saying, well, why wouldn't you want to have a bill that says you have to be an American, you have to be here legally uh, and have uh, identification so you have the most important thing that we have in America, and that's the ballot. We heard pushback from the other side, members saying, oh, this is a bill that is discriminating against voters. And our Senate president, President Van, said it best, this isn't about that. It doesn't matter if you're a man, if you're a woman, if you're Hispanic, if you're Asian, if you're white. What matters is that you are a citizen of the United States, and you can prove that, and therefore you are welcome to vote in our elections. What's really frustrating uh, about this whole process is, is how many times uh, do you, how many times do I, how many times the people watching us reach in their billfold and, and or, or purse and pull out identification, uh, whether you're checking into a motel, whether you're cashing in a check, whether you're, in fact, I've made a, some copies at the community college where I live, you have to have an ID, an ID, an ID, an ID. Yet the most important thing that we have, the ballot, uh, you don't have to have it. That's, that's wrong. We're fixing that. And I was glad to see uh, House Member Hoffman bring this bill forward and Governor Ducey signing this bill uh, this morning. It's just great news, and it's, it just goes to uh, further the steps that we are taking as a result of, of 20 by tw uh, 2020, uh, the election, and there are still a number of bills in the hopper working through the system, and we'll talk about those later when they get across the finish line. And you've been hearing a lot of feedback from your constituents on election integrity, on our voting process. This is something I imagine is going to make a lot of them happy. It will. Uh, when I go to meet and greets, when I talk to Republican clubs, when I talk to the LDs, that's always a big topic. What, what election bills will you pass? How, are you moving election integrity forward? Uh, people want to know, you know, when we went after the 20, uh, 2020 election, people said, 45% uh, of the people said, we don't trust our elections. This goes to a big step to putting integrity back into elections. All right. Easy to vote, hard to cheat. Amen. House Bill 2492 signed into law this week by Governor Ducey. And for that, we are thankful. Thank you for joining me today. Great to be here.